I'm challenging myself to make this probably the realest video I've ever made in my life. For one, I'm not gonna over edit this video. Typically I would do all these edits and pulls and pushes and zooms and all that kind of stuff to keep the viewers engaged from the very beginning. But the only edit you'll probably see me do on this video are the basic YouTube style jump cuts that are pretty standard and I actually do like the way that looks. Two, I can absolutely care less about the views that this video gets. The goal is not to try to make this video blow up or to get something that leads me towards monetization. As you can see, this is a very new channel. Instead, I'm gonna just simply do number three, which is tell you the absolute truth of how I feel about the topic of this video. When it comes to content creation, there's a lot of pressure that you feel as the creator that I wouldn't have known existed outside of me actually doing content creation myself. And it's not with the typical things like being creative or having quality of content to even put out in the first place. Those aren't the problems. Those are the job requirement itself that comes with it that I was completely ready to sign up for. However, what I wasn't ready to sign up for was being forced almost, not forced, but being pressured into keeping up with all the trends and what's relevant and things like that. Content creation is supposed to be you sharing something that you really connect with or something you're really good at, a talent of yours, a skill you've acquired, and sharing that with a community that you build up over time. However, content creation has become saturated with the most degenerate or complete laziest forms of content imaginable. I mean, there are so many different kinds of content creation that I can go over as far as trends and stuff like that that we've all seen. There are the ones that are immediately pushed to you as soon as you open up any social media platform, and it's nothing original. It's, you don't see anybody thinking of something for the first time. It's all trends and things being copy and pasted from women using their bodies to sexualize themselves and appeal to young teenage boys or helpless miserable grown men to things like even red pill communities of grown men teaching other grown men how to be men Pretty much what I'm getting at is if you're not someone who's already established in making content trying to get into content creation is the most hopeless process toxic you either have to recycle forms of content that you don't really care for but it's trending at the time or you have to do something for the complete shock value of it and literally sacrifice your own morals if you have any to begin with it's no longer having a passion for something and getting into it and just doing that and becoming good at doing just that that now will only take you so far or you would have needed to start maybe 10 15 years ago and even when it comes to something like streaming oh my gosh it gets so much worse when you get into streaming i found my way into content creation through streaming i was streaming video games specifically madden i streamed that game just about every single day and over a period of a year i built up a pretty good audience for it but now a year later i don't want to play madden anymore i don't enjoy the game it gets mundane doing the same game every single day so i want to switch it up and play other things but because i built up such a strong audience playing just that game i've now pigeonholed myself into just that form of content or at least that's what it feels like right i try preparing my audience for a different form of content by letting them know that hey this new game's coming out i want to try streaming something else i'm getting tired of just playing madden so i did try to prep them in a sense so when the game came out and i began to stream it if i could even tell you how many times i got the comment hey when are you going to get back on madden how long are you going to be playing this for man did you lose so bad that you had to switch video games or my favorite one you fell off this this whole fell off thing is probably one of the most toxic phrases to hit the content creation community because as an audience they typically don't understand how content creation even works what goes into it how the process is what can make something go viral what keeps you flowing, what allows you to build an audience. They don't, they don't understand these things because it's not for them to understand these things. It's for them to watch your content and be entertained and hopefully engage with you if they feel some sort of connection or relatability. They don't understand that all you can do as the creator or streamer YouTuber, whatever you do, is put out the best content you can. You have no control over whether or not the algorithm chooses to pick up your content, push your content out to the masses. Maybe not even the masses, maybe even just the people that have subscribed or followed you on your account. You have no control over whether the algorithm chooses to notify those individuals, to push your content out to them, to make sure that you get the opportunity to get the views and engagement that you've earned. That part you as a content creator cannot control. If you post a video that gets maybe 100,000 views and then the very next post, your video gets 
20,000 views, your comment section will be filled with comments like you fell off. It's crazy. Not you. You haven't changed your content at all. It stay consistent. Shoot, this video might be even better as viewers. They don't see that. And that's simply with being shelved by platforms that you're on, not because you fell off or you became less consistent your quality of content dropped nothing that you did but for whatever reason if there is a new trend out and you're not following that trend that platform has all the control to minimize the exposure that your content gets and when that happens there is nothing you can do but not everybody wants to follow a trend not everybody wants to get on camera and have this hyper human personality that doesn't exist in real life just for the sake of holding someone's attention span for a couple more seconds it's not worth it i'm actually convinced that going viral almost hurts you as a person or as a creator like it almost is harmful to your longevity it, it literally is imagine being exposed to a smaller audience over a longer period of time it's only natural that certain people that are always watching you maybe it's a little bit but they're always watching you over time as that grows you're gonna have a core audience people who really support you not only for the content that you make but for you as the creator i'm not sure maybe to a non-content creator this sounds like i'm just rambling and it, it may not make any sense but anyone who's ever gotten in front of a camera and exposed themselves to an audience knows exactly what i'm talking about hang on i got a customer calling me hello hi stephanie not gonna lie i can't really remember what i was saying or where i was in this whole yap session there are a lot of pressures that you deal with it is a dream job a dream position to be in yes i'm not saying that it isn't i am completely grateful humbled by the experience that i've been able to have for the past year as a semi full-time content creator i've always had another job but i've put full time i've received compensation donations and reward from being a content creator however there are parts of it that you do not see on the other side of the camera and so if there's any content creator that you follow or support, make sure that you let them know that you do appreciate the time that they put into creating the content that you enjoy to watch. And as the creator in front of the camera, don't feel the need to follow trends just for the sake of holding the attention span of a couple viewers that won't be there tomorrow. Do what you enjoy. Take a break when you need a break. Change it up if it's time to change it up. Don't worry so much about the compensation, right? The potential money that you can make because that's where I kind of went wrong and I see a lot of other creators go wrong. You start making some money from it after putting all that time into it as a hobby. You start to feel like you work for the process instead of making the process work for you. I've never said that before in my life, but that sounded amazing when you start to make money from it you can find yourself working for the process instead of allowing the process to work for you it's just to clarify what i mean by that is you may find yourself doing things that'll make you money because it's what other people want to see versus doing what makes you happy and what you're content with consistently doing and having faith and hope that eventually the money will come from it content creation is a dream being able to turn on a camera and do what you love to do and getting paid to do it is an absolute dream having hundreds, thousands of people supporting you doing that. It's a fairy tale. Please stop faking it. Stop lying to your community. Cause at the end of the day, you guys are the reason we do this. This is gonna be my very first post on this channel. So consider hitting the subscribe button. My goal is not to gain a ton of subscribers that won't watch another video that I put out. Only subscribe if you're gonna watch more content. With that being said, I'm out. I appreciate y'all, love y'all. And as always, God willing, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.